Welcome to the WBC Arena, and here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Todd Grisham. Next to me is Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Nice to be here with you. It's time for our tale of the tape. The Gypsy King himself, Tyson Fury. He stands an imposing six foot nine inches tall with a reach of 85 inches. And he'll be taking on Tyson Fury, this multi-time heavyweight champion of the world fighting out of Manchester, England. He'll beat you down and then sing to you afterwards. Joe Lewis, the Brown Bomber. His fight against Matt Schmeling, one of the most important fights in the history of this fine sport. Look at this. These fights are so up for it. Look at that. So now let's go into the ring for the official introductions. Here's the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner from Manchester, England, and standing at six feet nine inches, here is one of the hottest tickets around. It's standing room only for this, our main event. This is the fight of pride. This is two warriors that want to get in there and beat the hell out of each other. This is that fight. We've waited a long time for this fight. It's here, and the fighters are good to go. Here we go, round one. Who's going to land the first big shot? Right when you think the pace will slow down, it picks up. Nice exchange here from both men. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Perfect counter shot. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Reaction is second to none. It's the blink of an eye. And they're waiting for any little touch you do. So you've got to fight a counter puncher smart. Gets out of the way of that left hand. Some nice exchanges from both men this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. Great counter right hand there. Not a lot of defense at all. fighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. They have got great ring IQ. Counter punches are the best. No stamina, no injury. But this round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Tyson Fury. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. Dominance without a doubt. Made look so, so easy. And that'll do it for the time between rounds as we get set to get back in the action. What do we expect to see here in round two? Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Then step back for just a moment. Call it 
at the glory division. There's nothing quite like a heavyweight fight. It doesn't take much to win it. Guys that carry so much power, of course they're going to look for that knockout because it makes a night a little bit shorter. You don't get paid any extra for overtime. with that big right hand. The counter left. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fight, and fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable or some aggressive fighters like this and they are a nightmare if you are not fit if you are not fit that is the worst place to be having second thoughts in the ring nice job landing that left counter punch when are we going to see a jab from Joe Lewis in trouble Competitive round with 10 seconds left. Let's talk about Tyson Fury. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. The referee calling for seconds out, right back into the action. Here we go in round three. Who's going to land the first big shot? Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Nice counter shot. This is a high-octane battle. Exchange here from both men. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. from both men in this round. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got... Oh, my goodness. I admire these guys. Nice counter. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they help them to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do this round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. The building is going bananas. Will they see a huge upset here? I heard that never by saw it. Let's talk about Tyson Fury. Well, it's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as a fighter. And the corner man's got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get out there and get the job done.
And there's the bell to start round four. certainly not going to out throw their opponent by any means but they will when they hit be a lot harder oh, do you know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab they're that powerful both men step back for just a moment the winner of this surely will get a world title shot exchanges from both men in this round. They score again with the left hand. So close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skin and go for speed. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. about Tyson Fury. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. Dominance without a doubt. Made it look so, so easy. five who's gonna land the first big shot well there's no doubt about who won that last round let's see what he has for us here in the next one good counter punching for both these fighters they have no respect for each other's punching power good counter punching for both these athletes Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. to this safe. You'd like to see more jabs. I think they both think they're playing to the ring. This is the fight game. When you get in there, you get into fight. The fans are paying their money to watch you fight. We're sat here to talk about you fight. The cornermen are there because they want to see you fight. We need a fight. fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Punch, counter punch. Despite what the judge the scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. On the right. Let's talk about Tyson Fury. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you-know-who. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight.
Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up as we get set to jump back in the action. Here we go in the sixth round. Last round, complete domination. Let's see what we have in store for us here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. I've seen some fights with a granite chin. You could hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. And he just missed with that left jab. Figure out the combination to this sink. Nice punch. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. Let me explain to you about a fast fight, a fast fight that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed. They're confident. They know they just have to quick burst. Boom! In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed. And that's why they can maintain this all the way through a fight. The Hall of Famer Joe Lewis is down. Tyson Fury. It's not over till it's over, but that knockdown is going to be huge. I love the response, though. Got my top. Took the deep breath and got right. Brush it off. Get on with the job. The referee calling for seconds out. Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up and get a breather. And there's the bell for round seven. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got to hustle. Awesome. He's got to. He's got to slough. The counter lands. That left hand misses. Might want to back out of the pocket here. Look how slow these punches are. seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. Power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Big shots from both these fighters. 
Got to be careful, though. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now, this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Good counter punch. Big right hand just misses. Big shots from both of these fights. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Counterpunch for school. Let's talk about Tyson Fury. And a round that seemed like an eternity for them finally comes to a close. The bell, sometimes it couldn't be the sweetest sound. The referee calling for seconds out as we get set to jump back in the action. And they're back at it again here in round eight. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. When you have a fight that's got that great footwork and that great hand speed, it's so hard. It's an uphill battle. He threw the hook, didn't land. These two are the perfect dance partners. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Oh, these guys are fans. They're just trying to figure out how they're going to deal with it. Yes, they need to be offensive and defensive. He's just trying to figure out which puzzle fits which. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again, and the fight will be over. Very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Let's talk about Tyson Fury. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. And that'll do it for the minute break as we get set to get back in the action. And 
we enter the night. And they seal the deal in this round after what we saw just a minute ago. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. but doesn't score with it. Beautiful counter punch. Lands with the right counter. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. This can be so frustrating when you're in such a fast fighter. Fast fighter can throw three full shot combinations before you even let one up. That creates frustration, and that's when it gets hard. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. It's everything we dreamt of. It's everything we've got excited and giddy for. This is what we're here for. Nice counter punch. Then step back for just a moment. We'd like to see more jabs. That left counter was perfectly timed. Looks like this fighter did not work on defense this training camp. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Tyson Fury. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. As long as they don't get complacent, they think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. The referee calling for seconds out as we get set for another round. Then here comes the 10th round. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. He misses with that jab. Left counter score. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. And they get out of the way of that left hand. Fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons. And they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. Good counter right hand again. Two. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go.
about Tyson Fury. Let's see how the game plan changes after that big knockdown. To make or break a fighter. Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up and get a breather right back into the action. This is the 11th. We've entered the championship round. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now, they're saying, when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him, throw him, push him down, punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go, because you know they won't shake your leg. They're a, a nuts here, away from getting stopped. Counter-punching. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. You've got to ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable, drag them, get them complaining to the referee, because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into the rhythm, the fight is over. Left scores. figure out the combination to this safe. He fails to score with that left hook. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. He misses with that jab. Nice job landing with that right-hand counter. think they're going to have a lull in the action. We get it heated back up. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. so much and this guy wants no more I can't believe it they are giving up they don't like that listen to them oh listen to that when he gets back to the gym his team is gonna give him hellfire this is what you work on as a fighter 